Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to install bearings into a case without having a press. Stay tuned. The first step in this process is making sure the surface that you are going to be working on is clean, level. Um, also, as you see in this cases here, you want to make sure that the cases and where your bearing is going to be going is also clean and free of any debris. Make sure you double check, triple check. You don't want anything in there to obstruct the way that the bearing is going to fall into place. You place the bearings that you're going to be installing into the freezer. This may sound crazy, but this is a very important step to the process. Next, you will need map gas. This is going to be another important step in the process. You don't have to buy this brand, but make sure it's map gas or you'll be using a lot of butane or propane and whatever torch you have, but this makes your life a lot easier. And the map gas that I'm using is the Bronzomatic uh, Map Pro. Um, I bought this one at like Lowe's or Walmart or something like that. Um, again, you can get any other brand. I prefer the map gas because you don't have to sit there all day and hold it uh, like you do with like propane. Uh, this gets the metal a lot hotter faster. Not saying that if you hold it on some rubber, it's not going to melt it. Uh, it will definitely do that. So if you're installing bearings, make sure that uh, the seal is not behind it whenever you're doing this because uh, you'll destroy that brand new seal you just put in. Wait and do that after. All right, what you'll need to do is take your map gas and begin to heat the area where your bearing is going to be placed back into. Try to keep your bearing in the freezer as long as you can. Um, when they're getting frost on them, that's when you know it's ready for the next step in the process. Now what you'll want to do is make sure your bearing is going the proper direction and lined up correctly. And you should be able to just tap it right on in there now. Now, sometimes you get lucky and they will just slide right in there. Um, that sounded louder than what it was. I actually have a steel plate underneath of this that is level to keep the case level um, on a wooden bench. And when you're using the map gas, you don't want to, if it has a hole below it or, you know, if it's a blind bearing, you can get away with it. But if it has a hole below the actual bearing, you can catch the place on fire. So... Um, sometimes you got to use a little bit of persuasion. Uh, you don't want to hit it real hard. Um, I recommend a nice dead blow, uh, something with some weight if it's a bigger bearing. You know, if the smaller one, you want to use the, the appropriate size for it. But uh, you don't have to have a press to get them out or put them in. Now, sometimes you do have to use a dead blow. Um, in this case, I did. Uh, not all the time you have to do that. Uh, sometimes you get lucky and you get it the right temperature and the bearing uh, when it's frozen it will contract it and when you heat the metal it expands it and the bearing will drop right in without having to use any kind of persuasion at all so uh, I know there's gonna be some people out there saying that this is uh, going to destroy the bearing uh, by hitting it with a dead blow no I've been doing this for about 18 years um, as long as you're not using a metal hammer and hammer and the crap out of it and not hitting it down straight in there I have no problems out of this I've had engines on uh, championship bikes that have won multiple motocross and GNCC championships 
And if you're interested in this dead blow, um, this is a snap-on. Again, you don't have to use this particular brand. There's many other good brands out there. This is just what I prefer. Um, the part number on this one, it's kind of hard for my camera to focus in on, but it's Henry Boy Frank Edward 48. That's HBFE 48. And I used the 48 ounce on this one. And that's going to be it for today. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, put me a comment down below. Thanks and have a great day.